Paris, thank you. Nestled in Chicago's Edgewater community on the north side, Andersonville is known for its vibrant Clark Street corridor filled with a diverse selection of businesses and restaurants. Joanna Hernandez and producer Acacia Hernandez spent the day there as part of our Chicago Tonight in Your Neighborhood series. And Joanna joins us now with more. Hey, Joanna. Hey, Brandis. I don't know if you know this, but Andersonville was named the second coolest neighborhood in the country by Time Out Chicago. This area has a reputation of feeling like a small, small town in a big city filled with local businesses. But we have to start by talking about the Swedish roots and what better way to do that than heading to the Swedish Museum. Now, this institution has been a staple in the community since 1946. And if you want to learn more about the history of Sweden's migrating to the neighborhood after the great Chicago Fire, this is a place to start. I think what's so special about this museum is that it really talks about immigration. Obviously, all of our objects are Swedish or Scandinavian because it is the Swedish American Museum, but it honors and it highlights immigration for everyone about what, what the hardship is to move from one country to another. Karen Moen Abercrombie has worked at the Swedish American Museum for the last 15 years. She says Andersonville feels very much like walking down a street in Sweden. Now, even though the neighborhood has changed over the years as new groups and cultures started to move into the area, Abercrombie says Swedish roots will continue to live on for years to come. And even though you have businesses in the area that really have nothing connect directly connected to Sweden, they have a Swedish flag in there, or they like what the chamber is doing by connecting in the Swedish language a little bit in our neighborhood guide in the traditions that we're all celebrating together. And around the 80s, the area started to see a large LGBTQ population move in, and we can still see that today. The Chicago Therapy Collective works to push inclusivity and diversity here. They are a non profit organization focusing on mental health for the LGBTQ+, especially the trans community. One of the programs they run is Hire Trans Now. This initiative works not only with these local businesses, but across the city, addressing disparities in, way, in ways businesses can be more inclusive to everyone. Um, just the experience of walking in a business uh, before coming to therapy and getting either misgendered or gendered correctly can impact somebody's mood for like the next few hours. I would say that those kinds of microaggressions around gendering are so, so, so big. And so we tell our, our businesses to make sure to gender folks neutrally when they come in the door or read them correctly if they're giving you some clear signs. The neighborhood is also big on taking on eco-friendly initiatives. The Chamber of Commerce has worked with the neighborhood to make recycling a priority and most recently recruited shops and restaurants to participate with Waste Not Compost, a pilot program encouraging businesses to learn how to compost. We started with Waste Not Compost, a composting program where you have 20 plus businesses, restaurants, health and wellness and services who compost within their business. And we're hoping to add about 20 more in the beginning of 2022. And this bustling urban neighborhood is home to a diverse selection of restaurants on Clark Street, including Middle Eastern products and cuisine. We stopped by Middle Eastern Bakery and Grocery, which has been in the neighborhood since 1982. That is a long time. The owner was in his early 20s when he opened his business during a time, he says, when a big population of people from Iraq lived in the area and brought in a selection of Middle Eastern products to the neighborhood. Always we have something different. We always we have something new. We have something like the buys we make. We have always we come with something. The deli we always come with something. Now we have like like 14 different kind of hummus, and everything made from fresh, from fresh daily. And you can't walk down the street with noticing all the antique shop, the cafes, the businesses, and all these cool furniture stores. A popular commercial strip if you're trying to find something unique and handmade. The Chicago Fair Trade Pop-Up, an organization focused on environmental sustainability, has also returned to the neighborhood where dozens of vendors around the country sell handmade products, including Renew. So all of our products are made by refugee women who are relocated in DuPage County. We um, use donated textiles, so everything's one of a kind, um, and they're all handmade. 
and I had a chance to check out the pop up right behind me and I have to tell you it's worth going in about these amazing smelling candles and coming up we're actually speaking with the director about the pop up and learning more about fair trade but first we send it back to you looking forward to that Joanna thank you